show our support to all of the men and women of our armed forces. And during these difficult times, to those first responders who have tirelessly helped fight this worldwide pandemic. We proudly welcome you and your family. And at this time, we ask for any past or present members of the United States Armed Forces or any of our other allies from around the world, as well as those first responders, to please rise. interconnected ocean, a vast blue expanse critical to life on Earth. And there's no better animal to represent the ocean's beauty than the killer whale. They live in every corner of the ocean, from the Arctic to the Atlantic, the Southern to the Indian, to the Pacific and beyond. The killer whale story is the ocean story, and it's one we all share. We are one world, united by our ocean. Orca, 
Their common name is the killer whale. And these five whales have their own personal names. Kayukit, Tuar, and joining us right here are Takara, Sakari, and Kamea. Kamea is our youngest whale at only seven years old. And her mother, Takara, is our oldest whale at 30 years old. Takara is also the matriarch of our pod, which means she is the leader. These whales trust us, and they play an active role in their own health and well-being. Through the use of positive reinforcement training techniques, we can teach them husbandry or healthier behaviors. And joining us at the slide out, we have Julie and Doug and Sean, who are going to be demonstrating a few of those husbandry behaviors. That's right, Ceci. And in front of me right now is one of our very youngest whale. Her name is Sakari. Now, one of the very first behaviors that we teach our orcas is a fluke present, as Sakari is demonstrating right here. In this position, not only can we take a look at the entire body of the orca, but also we have access to some shallow blood vessels on the underside of their tail flukes. At least once a month, our veterinarians take a small blood sample, and the whales are conditioned to remain calm throughout the procedure. Now, during today's presentation, you're going to see us give the whales back rubs and belly rubs and even massaging their tail flukes, as Sean was doing right there. Now, orca's skin is very sensitive to the touch, so these types of interactions are just one way we can build our relationships with our killer whales. Thanks, Doug. Well, I'm over here with Takara, and she is the mom of Sakari and Kamea. She is 30 years old, and we're going to help demonstrate another one of those husbandry behaviors. Another one of them, another diagnostic tool we use to maintain the health and care of our animals, is weighing them. We can actually do this by asking them to slide. Yeah! Now, Jace, I don't know if you know, but orcas learn a lot through observational learning and mimicry, which means a young orca will spend lots of time watching its mom and other whales in their pod, other family members, and they learn that way. They kind of play follow the leader. Jace, would you like to play follow the leader with Sakari? Okay, come on over here. Here you go. What you're going to do is put your left hand up here and wave below it. Sakari, there you go. She's waving back. Now, obviously, Sakari is paying close attention to you. And orcas have excellent eyesight. Uh, in fact, we sometimes see them coming vertically out of the water, a behavior called a spy hop. Sometimes they jump completely out of the water to get a better view of their surroundings. Let's show the folks what that jump looks like. For this one, point with your left hand and check mark one, two, three, and give us a signal. And whoa! She obviously was watching you closely. She's going to the bottom of the pool and demonstrate one of those jumps. This is Sakari. Wow, well that was pretty impressive over there. But I am over here with my new friend Jonathan. Jonathan, turn around and say hi. Yay! All right, Jonathan, okay. We're gonna talk a little bit about how killer whales communicate with each other. They can do it in a variety of different ways. They can use vocalizations where they actually manipulate their blowhole to make different sounds. Whoa, she's not going to the center! <laughs> <laughs> Jonathan, you're gonna have to turn around and say hi to the All right, Jonathan, thank you so much. You have been such a great sport. That's for you. How about a hand for Jonathan and both of our audience on the team? As you can see, killer whales can communicate better.
pounds of food a day. Depending on where they live in the world and the time of the year, their prey may vary. Unfortunately, things like overfishing and pollution pose a serious threat to many populations of killer whales.